Today we're learning more about a deadly shooting in Hillsborough. One teen died, another was hurt. Police tell us it happened at a house party Saturday night. Now the Hillsborough School District is adding resources to address concerns around violence. K2's Megan Allison is live now outside Hillsborough High School. Megan, what are you hearing from the district today? Well, right, the superintendent says he was on campus this morning greeting students to reassure them during this time. The high school also brought counselors on site, and the district is now looking at how to address violence in the long term. Long tells us she was sitting in her living room when she heard gunshots Saturday evening. The shooter was actually between my Subaru and my Kia, and it just, he was just shooting blindly. Um, I don't know, it was an automatic fire. I caught it on my camera. Uh, you just see uh, the gun just go off. Then I hear screaming and then just a bunch of commotion in my backyard. Hillsborough police say a 17-year-old Hillsborough High School student was shot and later died in the hospital. A 16-year-old student was shot and injured. Long tells us the violence broke out outside a birthday party next door. My car is probably totaled. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I had three in my windshield, two in my hood, two in my roof. And then one of the party goers, she had three bullet holes in her house, but... And yeah, we're thankful that no one else got hurt. The Hillsborough School District Superintendent says moving forward, his team will work with partners such as local law enforcement, juvenile services, and the Latino Network to help students find connection in schools. Travis Ryman tells us that can be an alternative to seeking out violence. When I talk about pathways to violence, I'm referring to unsafe uh, social networks like gang activity, extremist groups, white supremacist groups, and online forums that create an opportunity for students to engage in violence. Ryman says counselors also met with staff before teachers talked to students on Monday. Model that grief is okay and that we're here as a community to um, deal with this situation. Um, I can also say I connected with some of our counselors who were actually at the home of the student that we lost uh, yesterday. And um, the emotion was heavy with them. Um, there were some tears this morning about a student that we care about. Police tell us this is still an ongoing investigation and they have not yet made an arrest. I asked if they've identified a suspect and we're still waiting to hear back. So I'll make sure to follow up in the days ahead. We're live in Hillsboro. Megan Allison, K2 News. So tragic, Megan. Thank you for that.